My name is Klaus Szewinski. I'm a visual development artist. That means I draw pictures and images and they help making something else or they might be the final result of the entire process. And uh, that's a really great job. I started out uh, around about 20 years ago, like in 98 I did my own comic book story and back then the internet didn't exist so I didn't know that it was possible to actually work in computer games for example. So I just did my own drawings and went to a comic book store and then at some point somebody said, you know Klaus, this stuff is so cool, uh, I'm gonna publish that, I'm gonna pay for getting this printed and I was like, my god, that's amazing, that's my chance. So I did this, I drew three comic books, took me nine months to complete, I got zero euros for that or zero Deutschmarks as it was Back then. From there everything developed because I all of a sudden had a portfolio, I had a body of work and that was something I could shop around, go to conventions and show that to people and that's how I got my own, my first uh, jobs in the uh, games industry for pen and paper role playing games and later also for comic books like G.I. Joe and Transformers and then I graduated so to say to computer games at some point and now I'm a storyboard artist mainly for uh, computer game, for, for trailers, for individual uh, brands but also like for big game companies like Ubisoft or Guerrilla Games. When you work as an artist, you have to look out that uh, you are skilled enough to be able to, to serve and to, to deliver what your clients need, so the quality needs to be there. But it also has to be timely, so you have to be punctual in a way. And it also helps to be a nice guy. And there's a funny triangle where, that says you actually only need two of those. You don't be, need to be an artistic genius, but if you're good enough, and if you're, if you're on time, and if you're a nice person, people like working with you, and then you have a career going for you. But you need two of those to do this. And the other factor is indeed having connections, like knowing other people in the games industry or in any industry. And that is actually a natural process that, uh, that takes some time um, to develop. It's hard for me to judge the, the games industry as a whole because I can only offer one little perspective of that on that topic. But um, I mean like we have seen in terms of monetary growth, we have seen a lot of development in the games industry. Uh, a lot of AAA computer games are bigger than movies, they make more money than movies. And anybody who actually played a computer game, played it through, invested maybe 60 hours to a game. A movie you only invest two hours in, right? So if you play a game there's a much deeper connection and that is an interesting starting point for games, game companies to develop an IP and actually get people into their game, into their world and be emotionally invested in that. And that's a really nice thing and that's something that drives me also like for working for this industry because it means I can connect with people. My art entertains people and they find meaning in that and I find meaning in that again. So that's really cool. Indeed it's possible to work in the games industry and get a job in the games industry. But what you need for that is a portfolio. You need a body of work that will indicate that you can do the job you are getting hired for. Having a graduation from a big university or something only counts so much. It's your portfolio that matters and that's something that I know my colleagues at SAE also like always point out like finish your studies, do practical work, apply your knowledge, apply your skill so you have a piece in your portfolio that stands out and makes you stand out to your next employer. So that is really uh, important. That's a message I can underline in red two times. Have a good portfolio and uh, get that stuff going. That's a really tricky question. I have a question. I, I have too many great projects under my belt that I can point to and say that they're awesome. At one point I, I, did, I drew a comic book for Transformers uh, that I co-wrote together with Simon Furman who was, who is still one of the main writers for the Transformers comic book line in America and internationally. I, I once did uh, illustrations for audio plays, audio dramas, little CDs for Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs which is a TV show from the 80s that I grew up with that actually inspired me to become an artist. So that was fantastic working officially on the thing that inspired me to go this route. And then there's like Rise Son of Rome, like a game Crytek brought out for the Xbox One in 2013 where I storyboarded uh, a whole ton of the cinematics and then I drew over 50 pages of a comic book that was a collectible in the game, in the actual game and uh, that was exploring more the characters of that world. So that was a fantastic project that I was able to spearhead, draw, partially color and coordinate so that was really something. Uh, there's a lot going on and indeed uh, my current work at Guerrilla Games is a new milestone in that I'm, I'm sure. 
So working in art, working in animation, working in games, working in art generally, um, yeah, there are a couple core skills that, that you have to have, and they're really hard to nail down though. Uh, one is to not be easily discouraged, like if something don't work, you have to try it again. Um, you can't expect this mysterious talent uh, to get you where you want to go. It's going to be hard work, and often the people with the most talent are those people who run into a wall, into a blockade, and then they stop forever because they're not used to getting blocked. So uh, being able to overcome these obstacles and just keep on going until you get what you want, uh, that is a great asset. Also, uh, being uh, open-minded enough to, to analyze, am I actually good at that thing? Maybe I want to try something else. Oh, I might be good at that thing. And for example, I started out, I wanted to become a, a comic book artist for Spider-Man. Have I achieved that dream? No, I have not. Um, is that still my dream? No, because my dream has changed. And right now I'm doing storyboards for a, for a big, uh, big computer game and that's a lot of fun. I'm working with amazing people. I, we have a great project. I get to draw a plethora, a wealth of different things that are very entertaining. Story's good too. So I'm in a really, really nice spot. And so be aware that the game's career is not a straight path. Often it zigzags. And, and you might have to take a little detour to get to the place that will be the right spot for you.